Hey guys, what's up? It's Ocean the Skater here. Today we're taking a look at a permissions X configuration program. So this is mainly for if you, you know, suck at setting up permissions files, you're always breaking them, or you just don't know how. So uh, you can find it over at this page here. I'll have the link to it in the description. And the user Nathan060700 made it. Currently we're at version 1.2. And I actually made a few um, comments down here just for some bug fixes and features to be added in. And from what I know, he added in most of them and he fixed all the bugs. So now I'm making the video for it. So you just click download right there. It's Dropbox link, it's good. Um, it'll download a zip file. You go ahead, open that up. And we've got the uh, plugin right here. So I'll just toss that on the desktop, close that up, minimize that. And yeah, so it's just a simple exe file. We open that up and hit run. And we've got our, um, window right here. So we start off by creating groups. So we hit the little plus and we'll make a group called uh, member, I guess. So we'll do member and we got to pick a prefix. So we'll put one in here. And I actually requested that we uh, be able to put in our own prefixes because personally I like to type it in myself um, just because I like to configure it a bit more. Like if you want, you could just pick member right there and then uh, you could pick a color of it. So maybe uh, so basically, if you use like a pre-made one kind of, so like, you know, if you type in the thing right there, pick a uh, style and then pick the color, then it'll show the uh, preview. But if you write it yourself, then it won't just because it's kind of hard to do that. So I'm going to make my own. All right. So that's how I like to make mine. I give it uh, dark gray brackets. I put the, um, the actual tag in a color and then I put a space in and then uh, a reset. So we'll hit finish. That's the first prefix, inheritance. There's no group to inherit because we've only made one group so far. And we're going to add some permissions to this. So we will add, what will we add? We'll add essentials.balance, which will allow us to do slash bal. And we'll do essentials.gc. Uh, and that's going to give access to the slash leg command. So then we're also going to set this group as the default group because we want people to automatically join this one when they join the server for the first time. And we're going to give permission to build because I like to use world guard to protect my regions instead. And then everything else they can build on. So it's different for every server, but generally you'll give them permission to build. And we'll make one more group just because. So we'll make this one a mod group moderator. And we'll set up a prefix for this. I'll actually just, I'll use a default one for this one just to show it off. We'll go with the dark purple or yeah with dark purple the light purple is kind of like that pink color technically it's uh, a dark purple or I mean a light purple uh, according to bucket but you know whatever so we pick the uh, style that we want and the color we want we can hit finish and it shows right there and then uh, the inheritance we're going to inherit member because we want this uh, group to have the permissions that members have but also their own permissions like essentials oh, ascend <laughs> Essentials.ban and Essentials.mute. All right, I'm just putting in a few just because I don't want to waste time putting in a lot. It doesn't matter. So we'll go ahead and create the group. And I also gave that build permissions. And for now, I'm done the groups. I don't need to put it any more in. If you want, you could put in, you know, member, moderator, admin, owner, donators, whatever you want. But just for this example, I'm only doing those two. We'll hit plus, add a player. We are going to add me and we're going to make me a moderator and this is actually going to save my uh, username in the permissions.yml file and say that I'm in the uh, moderator group so that even when I join for the first time I go into the moderator group instead you can also change people's groups in game with the command uh, pex user and then the username and then group set and then the group you want or you can do group add and then the group you want to add that group to the player instead of making that their primary group so I hope that wasn't too confusing. Um, you can also add permissions to the actual player through here. I'm just going to put one in. Uh, I have no clue. I'll, I'll give book it. Uh, no, I'll give the heal permission. So I'll do essentials dot heal. Oh, that's not how you spell heal. Heal and add the player. Perfect. So then if we wanted to add another, we can just put another one in, put the member, moderator, whatever you want. And we'll finish the players because I'm just doing the one example and we'll create the file. And this is going to bring up a saving window. You hit save. Okay, and you want to make sure it's named permissions.yml. By default, it's named that. So 
just don't change it. We're going to go into our server, and this is, you know, generally where you have, you know, your plugin uh, folder, your worlds, um, jar files, all that good stuff. So go plugins, permissions X, and then we already have one here. We can actually just overwrite it, move and replace, and we can go ahead and start the server. I'm going to get my Minecraft running as well. Also, we don't need this anymore. I've already tested out the program a few times just to make sure it worked because I don't want to be showing off a bad program, right? So we'll go ahead and join it. Or right, we'll go ahead and join the server. And I got some dirt in my hand, but by default, I should be a moderator. Perfect. All right, sweet. And you can see that the group, um, let's take a look at the permissions file because it changed a little bit. Um, all right, so when you first look at it, uh, if you open it up before you start your server, you're going to see the username there and you're not going to see this options tag. But since we have a version of permissions X that uses uh, UUIDs, which is pretty much any new version, then it uh, switched the username to a UUID and then made the name an option there. All right. So as you can see, this is the moderator tag and you can see that it's just, you know, a simple N5, which is the dark purple, and then a little space, and then a, a reset so that the name goes back to a default color. So technically, you could just change that to whatever you want. I mean, you can make it like D or I don't know, whatever you want. And then the member one, you can see I set this one up myself. It's got those square brackets, but it's also got um, the dark gray. So let's just test out these uh, commands real quick. If I do slash ban, you can see I have access to it. Same with slash mute, same with, same with slash bow and slash lag and I gave myself a permission it was slash heal I don't know if yeah that was the right one now the other thing that's really sweet is that now we have a well formatted permissions file so if you wanted to add permissions in you know you could just hit enter space it out there's no way to be more clear than to say just space it out don't use tab I mean technically you can if you hit tab then it tabs it out but you do not want to use tab it will break your permissions file so always use space uh, I know Notepad++, then it automatically tabs it over, so make sure you go back and space it out instead. And then you can just add more in, so I could do essentials dot, um, dot temp ban. And we could save that, and I think, if I try now, then it should not work. Temp ban, I don't have access, but if I do pex reload, I got it. <laughs> if I do pex reload, then you can see it reloaded that. Never reload your server, it will break it, it will definitely break permissions X. Um, but if you use the actual permissions x reload command, it'll do it properly. So now if I do slash temp ban, then I have access to it. So simple as that. That's how you use that permissions x configuration program. And I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope it was helpful. And for anyone that sucks at making permissions files, I really hope that this helps you out. So make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to see more content like this. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.